Good evening, let's get this ball rolling. Um, we are going to present now on how to make festivals real inside the classroom, okay? Because we believe that festivals should be something, you no, know, that is not something you read about in the textbook, but something that you can bring to life inside the classroom, that being using real artifacts that has to, uh, Know, that has to do with that festival, if that makes sense. So if you're gonna teach a, about a holiday and take, let's say, Halloween, for example, okay? <laughs> so Halloween. Okay. You know, what can you bring in from the country where the holiday, the holiday is celebrated that the, you know, the students can interact with? You know, that makes it come to life. Okay, I hope that's making sense. Okay. If you're going to, you know, it's like if, if you're going to teach about Italian food and pizza, okay, or whatever and whatnot, wouldn't it make more sense to give them like, the grilled pizza, okay? Maybe have them interact with that. Like, how does it taste? It's a good pizza. It's a horrible pizza. I don't like pizza. Whatever, okay? So, I guess that's the, uh, the thing that we had in mind when we're talking about that, so, okay? Is there anything else you want to say about this? <laughs> Here, let somebody else speak. We said um, we put the world, like not only America, like you know, no offense, it's other countries. She's uh, other other countries, countries have holidays too. America's not the only country that celebrates anything. So including things from maybe other places in Asia. So in okay, maybe we teach Chinese New Year, we teach Christmas, we teach New Year's, but we also teach Diwali, we teach Dia de los Muertos, we teach Las Posadas. We teach the Eats, we teach Ramadan, we teach those things too, but we do all of it in English. So that they were, because we were discussing and we said a lot of our kids actually, we were really surprised to find out a lot of our kids don't know a lot about the world as it is, but they also don't know a lot about Taiwan. So showing them that there is more to the world than just their little corner of Taiwan. What was our next thing? <laughs> yes. Oh, our other big thing, our other big idea was, um, in addition to diverse holidays, was comparing the holidays that we teach from around the world with their Taiwanese holidays. So if we teach, which one do we say? We teach. If we do Halloween in our class, which all of us have done, if we do Halloween, well, how does Halloween compare to Ghost Month? And the kids will sit and they have to compare it and they have to come up with comparisons and contrast. And then we also look at what's the same and what's different between Thanksgiving and Chinese New Year. To which the kids will say, oh, we sit and we have a big meal with our family. Um, we also added, too, as an idea for teaching festivals and all this, experiencing local festivals. So there's a lot of local festivals that our kids know about in our towns that we have no idea about. So if they can come into the classroom and say, Oh, well, we have this, but I know in Elon, is it um, the children's festival that they have? I say, I, I know nothing about that, but if I have a student that can come in and tell me that, and then we can go back to maybe comparing it to maybe another holiday from another country or another festival. All right, let's see. So how we teach these, but I'm, no one's going to take this microphone from me, I guess, so I'll just keep going. <laughs> My hands are up. I know. Convenient. Conveniently. <laughs> no, you have a bigger job to do. We don't need to. <laughs> so for how we teach these festivals, our big thing that we kept coming back to is they need to make something. This is not just us sitting there handing them a handout or a piece of text saying, this is Halloween, this is Ghost Month, this is Orban, this is whatever holiday we're teaching. They need to actually make something and it needs to be authentic. To that holiday. So if we're doing, is it Saint Lucia? Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. If we're doing Saint Lucia, you best believe we're going to have little wooden shoes. We're going to. They may not be wood, but we've. I've done them in the past where we just took two pieces of paper and made little claws out of paper. We need candles. I say, and we need candles, and we need. We do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a white dress. But we. Oh, thank you. The, the Our big part of it was, though, we said it needs to be cross-curricular. So we need to bring in their other classes, too. And we were saying, just to kind of show them that they can use English outside of the four walls of our classroom, so we bring in art class. We bring in music class. We bring in 
geography, you bring in science and social studies too. And that way you have more time. Because the other, te the other teachers are helping you do it. Mm -hmm. And that, that way you can cover more of the curriculum as it goes through. And, and, and now we have, to, we have to sing our song. Ready? Festivals make it real. Festivals make it real. Festivals make it real. We want to have festivals. Give me, you guys ready? Everyone look that way for a second. <laughs> All right. Give me an M. 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 Give me an A. A. Give me a K. A. Give me an E. E. Give me an It. I. <laughs> Give me a real. Real. Exclamation. We are to quality, not quantity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.